hi guys welcome back in this video we are going to talk about using feature flags or creating feature flags in flutter or dart when you need to try out new features or toggle between different features in your app feature flags are really handy and in this video we will discuss on how to create feature flags in flutter or dart using enumerations let's see how it is done okay i have written the code in dart pad uh, so it will be easy to discuss so first of all i have created an enumeration called environment which defines dev qa and prod of often in our, most of our apps we have this environments defined so that we can switch your features based on that then you have another enum called feature type this is where you have the uh, features that you want to toggle between or turn off and on so i have two features let's say feature one and feature two are the two enumerations uh, then i uh, make use of the extension features uh, in dart so i apply an extension or i create an extension on feature type so this is something similar to how we do it in swift so in swift the difference is like you can have functions and variables within the enumerations uh, so that you can compute things so here we write extension and i added this function is feature available is feature enable for and which takes in an environment then i have a couple of uh, nested switch cases so first we will switch for environment and let's say if the environment is dev then we say like okay feature one and feature two should be true and if it is qa uh, let's say feature one is true and feature two is false and for prod feature one is false and feature two is true so according to the environment you can easily uh, mix and match or easily turn off and on uh, features now let's see how we use it so i have this class let's say we know the environment is prod right now uh, this is often computed based on project settings so just for a demonstration purpose i just uh, put it as prod now i have a function here which checks like whether some feature is enabled or not so i i you can check like this feature type feature one is is this feature enabled for the current environment and accordingly you can proceed similarly for feature two uh, let's now run and see like how it works <clears throat> okay so you can see the environment is prod and feature one is false so you can see like okay do the old feature and feature two is true so do feature two now if we change to let's say qa and let's uh, try that what will happen okay so now it changes so in qa feature one is true and feature two is false so you get the necessary information here this is a pretty convenient utility when it comes to uh, trying out features or if you want to switch between uh, different features etc this will this is really a handy tool and also it helps in maintaining uh, a single code base rather than different long lived branches for different features you can have a combined code base uh, and use this feature flag to switch between the code you want to execute so it, it's uh, really a handy uh, utility and of course uh, you can do uh, in in this approach you can do only uh, you can set the values only during compile time so so while compile time you have to define which feature is enabled or disabled so uh, yeah but for simple use cases this this is enough yeah that's all uh, i want to discuss i'll put the uh, code in description try it out Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.